Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be going over how to use acetic acid or white vinegar to clean a wound. But first, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel. So acetic acid is really just your white vinegar, your just normal 5% uh, white vinegar. Um, so we do need to dilute the vinegar um, as per the order. And normally we use concentrations of 0.25, 1%, or 3%. Um, so this acetic acid is actually an antiseptic cleaner um, and it can be used for um, wounds or periosmal skin um, if there's lesions uh, associated with like say a urostomy. So when are we going to use this? So first we're going to use this under the direction of a physician, nurse practitioner, wound care specialist um, for wounds with signs and symptoms of infection, of a local infection. And um, mostly the most specific infection that we're using this for is pseudomonas. So pseudomonas does come off as a um, green discharge when it comes off. So that's how we can normally recognize it right away. And normally we don't need any antibiotics for this and the vinegar just clears it right up. Okay. Um, and then we're also, so we always want to be under the uh, somebody's orders for using this. Now, just some precautions. Um, discomfort or pain can start occurring the higher the concentration of vinegar that we're using. So say the 3%. So we always want to start off at the lower percentage and work our way up. Um, and then also towards the end, because we do put this on um, like a gauze and put it on the wound, um, towards the end of the compression time, it can start to sting or be uncomfortable. Um, and then just some contraindications. We're not going to use this if somebody has an allergy to acetic acid or white vinegar. Um, we're not going to be using this in any combination with any other solutions, Dankin solutions, iodine. We're not using that with that. Um, in wound care, really, even when we're using antimicrobials, we want to stick to one, okay? Um, and then we're not going to be using this for irrigating, undermining, sinuses, or tunnels. So how to start preparing to create this solution? So first, we do need to have a sterilized large bottle. It needs a cap on it, um, a screw tap and it needs to be sterilized. So we have to put it in boiling water for 15 minutes. So the cap and the bottle in the boiling water for 15 minutes, um, carefully remove the bottle with tongs um, and allow to cool before handling. Then you just need to know the strength of the order that you need to create. And um, in the next slide, I'm gonna show you exactly um, how to make this, but um, just know your strength and then you're going to add the correct amounts of vinegar and sterile water. Um, your sterile water, make sure that it it is like commercially made uh, sterile water. And then just screw on the cap, shake gently um, and put a date and label on it, okay? And then you're going to store away from um, direct sunlight in a cool place. Okay, so here we have um, the how to actually make um, the solution. So right here you can see the solution size, the 1000 mils, the 500 mils, or the 250 mils. Um, so say we want 250 mils of solution. Um, we're just going to take, and then, um, so it depends on the strength. So we have 0.25, 1% or 3%. So say we have, we, we need a 1%. So we need 250 mils of a 1% solution. We're going to go in this little column here. Okay, so we need 50 mils of the acetic acid and 200 mils of the sterile water, which is going to create this 250 mils. Okay, um, so then let's just do one more. Say we have a we want a thousand mils, so one liter, a thousand mils, at a three percent strength. So thousand mils go across to three percent strength. We need 
600 mils of the acetic acid, 400 mils of the sterile water is going to bring us to our 1,000 mils of 3% solution. So that kind of shows you how to use this chart. Um, feel free to screenshot it um, so you can use that. Okay, so now how we actually use this on the wound. So first we're going to cleanse the wound and peri wound with normal saline or sterile water, just removing any of that loose debris, loose slough, any necrotic tissue, just get as much of that away as we can. Um, and then we're going to pour the acetic acid solution into your dressing tray. So we're gonna soak several four by four gauzes in the solution. We're going to remove um, the gauze the gauzes from the solution and kind of wring them out with your forceps and you're going to apply one on to the wound um, and to the peri wound for 30 to 60 seconds okay um, so wait that time remove it and then you're going to reapply a second compression and leave it on between five to ten minutes um, once that time is up, we're going to thoroughly cleanse again with our sterile water or normal saline, removing once again any loose debris that has kind of sloughed off in that time. And then you're just going to complete the dressing change as normal. So the frequency of um, that you're going to use the acetic acid uh, solution. So you can use this up to twice a day for seven to 14 days um, for the infected wound. Um, for ostomy care, with each pouch change um, or as needed, okay? Um, and then just the expected outcome of this is that signs and symptoms of local wound infection are going to be resolved within a two week time. And for the peristormal uh, stomal, lesions are prevented or resolved. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you did find it helpful for your daily practice and I will catch you guys in my next video. See ya.